Hey guys, so I'm super happy to announce the release of this course, which is the second installment to my Applied Maths course. So, who is this course for? This course is really for people that want to step up their game and to start building industry standard notes, but just not sure where to begin. So, the cool thing about this course is it doesn't require you to know anything about Bifrost. We're going to be building up all them soft skills throughout the project. The only prerequisite is that I have to ask you for a solid understanding of applied maths in general. So you really need to understand your vectors, matrices, quaternions, how to multiply them all together and be aware of a multiplication order because I'm not going to be going through that. And what we're going to be covering is we're going to be covering eight topics. We're going to be looking into uh, twist joints, stretchy aim joint systems, uh, push joint systems, springs, uh, cashing out uh, matrix deltas per frame, and then we're going to do this last penultimate, which is going to be implementing our own cubic spline. And then we're going to have to do all the reparameterization and then outputting it to transforms. But let's actually have a look in Maya quickly of all the tasks that we're going to be doing. So we're going to start off by creating this uh, twist chain. So what that's going to allow us to do is it's going to allow us to basically rotate around a plane. And the cool thing about this is we're also going to be introducing aim matrices so we can basically aim that however we want and it will work. So that's really going to be a crash course in aim vectors and or aim matrices and quaternions. And that's going to follow in nicely with our second project, which is our stretchy aim. So it's basically going to extend the concept of our aim matrices, but add in the ability to calculate stretch factors. And what we're going to do is we're going to add in some extra attributes. So we're going to allow it to stretch and we're also going to allow it to fix length and we can specify our input length and it will automatically calculate that. And the cool thing about this as well is when we're not stretching, we can actually pin it from one side to the other. So we can slide our chain from there. So now all the weighting is on this guy. And then after that, we're going to have a masterclass in quaternions, and this is going to be where you really need to start understanding your maths because there's going to be lots of matrix and quaternion multiplications. And what this is going to allow us to do is it's basically going to allow us to measure the difference between orientations. So when that leg goes up, we can push these joints out to fake volume. And we're going to be able to um, push this out dependent on whatever axis we want, uh, negative and positive, and also allow us to kind of offset our rotation so we can rotate around the plane. And the next thing we're going to be looking into is a spring node. So the cool thing about this spring is it's going to start allowing us to implement or cache a previous value data. So that's one of the main things it's going to explore in Bifrost. And then this is going to lead on to our next project, which is the matrix delta. And what this basically does is it allows us to cache X amount of previous frames. So now we can get something that looks a bit like a Tron simulation. And the really cool thing about this is it's really going to um, push on the fact of how we can manipulate arrays because we're going to be constantly pushing and popping. And then we come to our penultimate project. So we are going to be deriving a, uh, a curve out, well, a, a cubic spline ourselves. So we're going to create all of the basis functions to create it. And the cool thing about this is we're going to be implementing a couple of different types of curves. So we're going to have Hermite curves, which are basically weighted tangent curves. And then we're going to add in the ability to start manipulating the tangents a little bit. So we're going to add in this ability to soften up our Hermite tangents. And then what we're going to do is we're basically going to add in another attribute, which allows us to blend into a, a cardinal spline, which is another type of curve. And we can control the sharpness as well. So we can get some really interesting results. And then after we've uh, calculated our curve, we then need to do all of the reparameterization ourselves. So the little spheres is our curve points, and these are our reparameterized points. So we're going to add in a lot of extra functions now. So I'm just going to set that to zero. And the first thing we're going to look into is parametric and uniform blending. So what parametric means is you basically get stretching between each curve segment. And we're going to create a system of how we can calculate the length of the curve 
to be able to uniformly distribute. So we're going to be uh, looking into some concepts from um, calculus. So we're going to be using integration to be able to integrate the curve length. And after we've done that, we're going to add in some kind of fun features. So we're going to be able to offset the U so we can basically slide along the chain. And then we're also going to add in a fixed length system. So we can basically pin it to be uh, 20 units or something. And then we're going to be using our logic that we had from our stretchy aim system so that we can actually anchor from each end. And then to finally finish off, we're going to wrap everything up by outputting it into matrices, which we can control ourselves. And we're going to add in a little bit of icing on the cake where we can also add in twist. So this course is absolutely jammed with features and I really hope you enjoy it because I actually had a blast doing this one. Cheers.